Hey, what's happening guys? It's Will Ripley here with Campfire Guitar Star. What I wanna get into today is what I believe with my teaching experience, what the most simple guitar song is on the guitar. So maybe you're just getting rolling on the guitar and I hope that this video will provide as a good resource for you because I'm gonna show you a bunch of songs that you don't need with any technical skill, but you do need an in-tune guitar, okay? So the, the names of the strings uh, in something that you should memorize is E, A, D, G, B, E. And you're going to want to tune those. And I, I just use an electronic tuner. Um, the professionals, the big boys that are playing arenas, they are using electronic tuners as well. So you should probably get one. You can download apps on your phone. Uh, you can get clip-on tuners, uh, little kind of box tuners that you can buy at a music store for 10 or 20 bucks. There's, uh, there's ways to tune your guitar by ear, although that's a more advanced approach. Um, you may as well just get something that will tell you if your guitar is in tune or not. So you just adjust these knobs so that you got E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay, and that's the first song that I want to get into today is actually a Metallica song called Nothing Else Matters. And check it out. So you can actually play the entire intro uh, without your fretting hand, okay? So I'm just going to load up my right hand. I put my pick down and here's, here's how, how it sounds. So if you recognize that song, you'll know that that's basically the intro to Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Super, super famous rock song. And so what's cool about that is that, as you can see, I'm not using my fretting hand. And all I'm doing is I'm loading up my right hand. So in the, and it doesn't matter whether you're playing acoustic or, or electric. Um, they're all the same, you know, in terms of how you, how you tune them and how you play the notes and stuff like that. So, um, so in this case, I'm on electric. I'm going to place my right hand down here. I've let go of my pick. I've just got my pick handy because we will need that in a minute for the other songs that we're going to learn. But check it out. So if I got my thumb on my low string, my first finger on my G string, second finger on the B string, and third finger on the E string. And then you go back to your B string. You just do it in reverse, basically, to G, and then back to your E. Now this is awesome practice if you ever want to get into finger picking and trust me if you uh, get beyond the basics with the guitar you're going to be doing some finger picking eventually and that could even mean like some blues stuff like you can use your fingers for that or you can play classic songs like so that's blackbird by the beatles but um so yeah so this is actually awesome practice because just cycling this You're going to activate all the necessary fingers for your finger picking, plus you'd be playing a recognizable cool song with basically having no skill. So it's pretty wicked. So, um, so we've got E, G, B, E, B, G. So just up the strings and then down. And just sit there, cycle that, and you can actually have quite a bit of fun. So that brings me to the next song that I want to cover, which is really similar to this same concept which is Spanish Romance, which is a very famous classical guitar song. And I will have the tabs there for you, but you can actually just cycle this song. And just this whole idea, just slide these notes around on your high E string. And, uh, and, and just mess around with this whole concept. And you can, so you can kind of combine Nothing Else Matters and Spanish Romance because they're a very similar guitar technique, um, which is cool, by the way, because one's a classical song, one's like, you know, a rock song done by a classic heavy metal band. So, um, but yeah, so very universal techniques here. And so all I'm doing here is I'm just grabbing the high E string. It doesn't really matter what finger you use. And you can cycle that same thing that we talked about in Nothing Else Matters, but now you can fret a note. So in this case, I'm up on the 12th fret on the high E string with one finger. Okay, and then I'm just gonna slide this down. Another good note is the 10th fret.
Another good note is the eighth fret. And that really wants to resolve down to the seventh. Down to the fifth. Third. Second. Okay, so that is what I might consider to be the most simple guitar song. So you're using the technique of that intro opening guitar from Nothing Else Matters by Metallica and kind of combining this concept from a famous classical guitar piece called Spanish Romance. And by the way, I'll have the tabs for these two songs and all the other songs we're going to get in the description below. You can download that PDF and follow along with this entire lesson. But yeah, so that's what I might consider to be the most simple guitar song. And so why don't we hop into, into some other ones here. So we talked about fretting notes and, and, uh, and basically fretting notes is pretty straightforward, right? You just find the frets. We've got, and the frets are actually these silver bars. So you just count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and so on. So in that case, we're up on the 12th fret. So this is actually the 12th fret and we play right above it, right? Like right above that fret. And now let's talk about, say if, say if we were to play the first fret, okay? And now the thing is, is that lower on the guitar, we have this whole space to play. Like, and a lot of beginners get messed up because we think that, oh, we must be, have to play our finger way down, you know, or it doesn't matter where we put our finger. Well, check it out. What you wanna do is, if this is the first fret, the silver bar, what you wanna do is get as close to that as possible, okay? And that will actually make it a ton easier for you and it will just guarantee clear notes. So if you ever get this sound, like that buzzy sound, the bacon sizzle, that nasty sound, right? Well, check it out. If I apply that same amount of pressure, but just move it up to close to the fret, bada bing, bada boom, we get a nice clear uh, singing sounding note. Okay, so it's beautiful. Okay, so moving forward in all these next songs, what you wanna do is just make sure that your fingers are as close to those frets as possible. Because as you can imagine, it's gonna make everything that you play sound that much better. And aside from the songs, though, we've already talked about two big tips. Um, one of which, which is having an in-tune guitar, okay? And playing close to the frets. So if you passed an out-of-tune guitar to Eddie Van Halen, and he started playing all his notes like super low down here, on an out of tune guitar, he would sound absolutely terrible. Okay, so if the most, one of the most famous guitar players in the world would sound terrible, what you can instantly do as a total beginner and rookie, just get those two things into your guitar playing and you'll instantly sound better. An in tune guitar and play your notes close to the frets. Okay, and that goes with chords and everything. Okay, okay so speaking about fretting notes and playing awesome songs, Check out this song called What Kind of Man by Florence and the Machine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about fretting notes, we're gonna grab a pick here, and it's actually a super easy but cool song. Check it out, it sounds something like this. This song is so perfect. We teach one-on-one -on -one lessons all over the world via webcam. And one of our students wanted to learn this song. And I was like, that song is perfect for a beginner. So check it out. Um, and by the way, the, uh, I'll link the song name. And of course you can get the tabs for this, but just so you know, the song itself has a 55 second intro. So you're gonna wanna uh, fast forward to the 55 second mark. And that's when the guitar riff comes in. Okay, so what we're gonna do we're gonna line up our first finger, and we can actually just use one finger for this whole riff, by the way. But, uh, so I'm using my first finger on the third fret of the A string. Okay, so one, two, three, there's a third bar. I'm nice and tucked in close to that fret. And now I'm gonna grab my pick. Okay, so if you, have, uh, and if you don't have one of these, you wanna get one of these. Now, here's the big secret to holding your pick. Let's just do this together real quick. So, get the, uh, the, the tip of the pick pointing out like this, uh, just like an extension of your fingernail. You're gonna put your thumb on top of it. Now, this is where a lot of people stop. This is how they think that you're supposed to hold the pick. 
but the big key secret to holding your pick is actually to do just a slight finger curl, okay? So now if I were to uh, put out my hand, I'm actually able to lift off my thumb and as you can see, the pick is resting on my finger, on the side of the finger, okay? So again, just tip of the, uh, like on the pad of your finger, thumb down, and the key secret is that little, little finger curl. What this does is it just kind of like angles the pick, um, sets your wrist up at a nice angle, and it will actually just make you play the notes faster and easier, okay? So that's the uh, quick pick rundown. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this note, third fret of the A string, twice, okay? And what I'm doing there to, uh, if, and in a case your note sounds like this, all I'm doing there is I'm just whacking the, the strings here with my right hand using just a soft fist, or you can actually just let off your first finger, okay? But actually what I'm doing when I, when I was demonstrated that a second ago was I was doing both, okay? So I'm going, I lift off and I'm clapping, okay? But don't worry about that too much for right now. That's kind of uh, the next step. Let's just get the notes down first. So we got one, two, move over to the fifth fret of the low E string, okay? And we hit that note, as you can see, nice and tucked up to the frets. Up to seventh fret, and then I'm gonna play open, okay? And then I'm gonna repeat that, except for the last uh, two notes, instead of going to the low E string, they're different. So we start again, third fret A string, fifth fret of the low E, seventh fret of the low E, and then we're gonna go to the fifth fret of the A string. So we'll go something like this, da 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 three, four, go. So here's what I'd suggest you do with every song you ever learn on the guitar, okay? Is pull up the song, whether that's on Spotify, CD, vinyl record, YouTube, whatever the case is, and play along with it. So again, this song is by Florence and the Machine called What Kind of Man. Um, at 55 seconds, you'll hear that guitar riff come in and it actually plays for quite a while. So what you can do is you can play along with it. Okay, and what that's gonna do is install rhythm into your, into your body and soul and deepen your bones, okay? And because uh, and, I mean, what we're trying to do is play music. So if you actually play along with the pros, then uh, that's gonna be awesome for your guitar playing. Okay, so that's a great tune. Um, let's talk about another couple of tracks here. So one of which is 25 or six to four by Chicago. And it's actually super, super easy as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the, uh, the fifth fret of the low E so here's how the riff goes, and then we'll break it down. Okay, and also you'll see that we can play Brain Stew by Green Day uh, using these same notes. So that's pretty wicked. So again, one finger riff. I'm just using the fifth fret of the low E string um, and I'm descending down. I am skipping the fourth fret though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this note one, two, three, four, five times, okay? And then we're gonna slide down to the third fret and hit that one, two, three, four, five times with a little break, okay? So. And it just changes on those last two notes, okay? So we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? What a beautiful, simple, but powerful riff, right? Again, that's Chicago's 25 or 6 to 4. You know, just grab the, the track, Spotify, YouTube, it, whatever. Play along with it. And, uh, and you'll see for yourself that it's actually easy. It's cool. It feels powerful. And you're playing a classic, cool, recognizable song.
Love this song. Um, okay, so again, nice and slow. Let's break it down. So we got fifth fret. We'll go like da 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 da. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> So again, like I said, you can pl actually play Brain Stew by Green Day using the same notes, just a slightly different rhythm, which would sound like this. So of course I'm using some advanced techniques to make it sound like kind of almost cooler than it is, you know, because we're just playing one note and I'm using all these uh, little rhythmic shots and stuff like that. Um, and that just goes to show how some of the small little details of guitar um, are just so important because we're just playing these, these simple one finger notes. But as soon as you inject rhythm into it and you can really feel that pulse behind it, you know, the power and the drive, and then, um, and yeah, that, that, those are the things that really make guitar sound cool. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. But, um, but what we wanna start out with is just a quick down up. Okay, so what I'm doing there is I'm hitting my pick. Again, remember that little finger curl around the pick and we got down up on that string. And by the way, as you can see, I've got my right hand planted on the guitar. It doesn't matter if it's electric or acoustic. You wanna get um, your right hand usually planted on this bridge back here, okay? And that will give you a nice stability so, uh, so you can hit the right notes with your right hand, okay? So one of the biggest things that I want you to get from this video today is get that right hand stabilized when you're playing single notes. It's okay when you're strumming chords. Of course, my right hand isn't planted there. But for single notes and these riffs that we're playing today in this lesson, get that bad boy planted. It's going to help you out a ton. All right. So in this case, we were playing the exact same notes as the Chicago song, but we we're doing a little bit faster uh, and closer together, but less notes. So we're going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so that's a, that's a way to play the same notes, but two different songs from two different eras. And just another quick note, you know, we were talking about playing along with the song. So definitely grab um, uh, Brain Stew by Green Day, dial it up on YouTube or whatever. Um, by the way, it is tuned down a little bit lower. Um, so you'd have to tune your low E string down to E flat. And again, that's where that tuner would come in handy. Uh, but the Chicago song, you can absolutely play along with it in standard tuning, so that's cool. But yeah, so playing along with the tracks is gonna be super important. But also just knowing what you're trying to play is going to be very important as well. And that's the part that, uh, you know, when people listen to music and they start reading tabs and learning guitar and then they translate it to guitar, they can't really hear the song, right? And, uh, and it's because what you're playing doesn't really sound like the, the song you're trying to play. And what I want to get across to you and what will really help you is if you know what you're trying to play. So if you're able to sing along with the riff like, da 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 and you snap your fingers, da 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 and you just know how that's supposed to go, like just like using your, your body and your voice, then when you translate it to guitar, it's gonna be so much easier because you're just gonna kind of intuitively know how it's supposed to sound. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know in the, in the comments below um, if, that's, if that's helping you out. What we're gonna be doing now is I wanna teach you how to read tab, okay? So reading tab is gonna be so essential because you can literally go on the internet type in your favorite song and just add tab at the end. And there's gonna be stuff that pops up on ultimate-guitar.com and you can just learn how to play your favorite songs. And uh, now just a little precursor warning, 
that there's a lot of incorrect tabs online and you do have to decipher them. There's gonna be several, several versions, but uh, it's part of the process, you know, like hearing the song, like getting it internalized, um, watching a live video of somebody playing it, reading a tab, you know, reading four different versions of the tab and just like putting the song together. It's all part of the process. Okay, so what I wanna do now is teach you what's classically known as the first song that somebody ever learns on a guitar. Um, but uh, as you know, we just went over like three or four songs that are actually what I consider to be easier because we're using you know one finger or no fingers and, and just sliding our, our hands around and just kind of exploring. And, and, um, and yeah, so I, I believe that the songs that I've already shown you are even more simple and, and maybe what you should learn first on the guitar. But what we're gonna go over now is uh, the two classic songs, one of which has been you know, a song since the 70s, Deep Purple's Smoke on the Water, which sounds like this. And maybe since about the year 2000, when the White Stripes came out, this is kind of like the new uh, first song that somebody learns on the guitar, which is Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. And that one sounds like this. So let's go ahead and learn these two riffs. However, first what I wanna do is learn how to read tab and smoke on the water simultaneously. So we're gonna break into a little clip from my free video course called Five Minute Guitar. I used to sell this for a hundred bucks but I've actually made it totally free and you can get access and register for that in the description below. You can register a username and password and get access to the step-by-step -step beginner guitar system that's actually been proven effective with thousands of people. So here's one of the very first clips from that video where we learn how to read tab, but also you're gonna learn how to play Smoke on the Water at the same time. So here's a little clip from Five Minute Guitar and then we'll catch you right after. Okay guys, it's time to rock and roll. So we've got an in-tune guitar, we've got a setup guitar, we know the names of the strings, and it's time to learn how to play this thing. So I'm gonna show you the riff, but I'm also gonna show you how to read tab. Maybe you've heard of it, it's, uh, it's short for tablature. And what tab is, is basically um, music reading for guitar players. So it's kinda dummied down a little bit in a way, because it's, it's really straightforward. It's just numbers and some lines. So, how many strings does the guitar have? That's right, it has six strings. Now, when you count here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six lines. So, the cool thing about tab is that each one of these lines simply represents a string. And so now you know the names of the strings. And if you haven't already, I'd highly recommend getting them memorized because I'm going to be referring to them a ton throughout this video series. So, the one thing that's kind of confusing about tab is that it's kind of like holding our guitars up like this. So, that's the first thing to kind of wrap your mind around, is that, uh, that yeah, it's kind of like upside down and backwards, kind of. So yeah, just think about having your guitar held up like this. And so, this low string right here is going to be on this line, right? And that's right, that's the E string. And then moving forward, we've got the A string, the D string, the G string, the B string. And I'm going to differentiate the two E strings by writing this one as a lowercase e. Because as you can see, when we're holding up a guitar like this, we've got our big E and our small E. So, all we have to remember is that it's just like reading a book. It's just like going left to right, and, and so that's the progression, it's just left to right, just like we're reading a book. And all we're gonna insert on the lines are numbers. So now, say here's our line. The numbers represent the frets. And what the frets are, are these lines right here, going across. And so when I write in, say, the third fret, what I'm referring to there is this. So see how the line goes right through the number? 
Now, the other thing that I want you to know about is zero. So what the heck does zero mean? Zero means that we're gonna play an open string. So what I would do is I would just think of zero actually meaning open. Smoke on the water, let's get to it. Our very first note, a zero for open on the E string. So go ahead and play that note. And if you play this note right here, then you're right. So moving forward, we've got the third fret. Now this is all on the low E string, so we play the, the zero first, and then we play the third fret. So now if you go up to the third fret, we count these lines, right? So we go one, two, three, and there's your second note. So the first two notes of Smoke on the Water are like this. All right? The next one here is five. Boom, boom, boom. So, see if you can beat me to hit that. There we go. And now here's the thing about tab. It does not tell you what fingers to use. Now I'm using my first finger, but I actually want you to use your third finger for this note. You just kind of have to put that to memory. So, first, three notes of smoke in the water. All right. And the cool thing here is it starts out the same for the next part. Now with an exception of going to 6-5 instead of 0-3-5, the next time we got 0-3-6-5. I'll just play for you what that sounds like. All right, so we got zero, three, five, zero, three, six, five. Now, moving forward, we go back to zero, three, five. So that's super easy to remember. Okay, and so we've already covered that. And then for the finale, we've got a three, I'm just gonna extend this line a little bit to zero. So let's check it out. One, two, ready, go. We're gonna take that again. One, two, ready, go. that makes sense? Kind of flipping your guitar up like this when you're reading tab, right? And it's just really simple. As long as you know how to read numbers and you can count, you can actually start figuring out where to place your fingers on the fretboard. As you can imagine, as a beginner, this is going to be absolutely essential for you to teach yourself how to play riffs. So let's talk about the next track here, Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. So just so you know, Jack White, when he recorded this song with the White Stripes, he used a pedal called the Digitech Whammy pedal, which is very famous, uh, especially Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine was very famous for utilizing this pedal. And what he uses it for is he tunes the guitar down two full octaves to make his guitar sound like a bass guitar. Okay, so really he's playing it um, up here on the seventh fret. But I find that if you don't have that pedal, which chances are you don't, that it actually sounds better if we play it in a different key. So you won't be able to play along with the track, but I find it just sounds better when you play it on the guitar this way. So we're gonna start on the fifth fret, and it sounds like this. So in this case, we're gonna use some different fingers, right? As you can see in Smoke on the Water, there's that similar thing where we're activating some different fingers so we can you know, move around the fretboard a little bit faster. So we're gonna use our third finger on the fifth fret, and that's what's so essential for this riff, okay? So we're gonna hit that twice, and we're gonna move up to our first finger on the third fret of the A string, and back to home base. So we got one, two, 
up to third fret of the A string and back to home base, okay? That first note. So that first little bit sounds like this. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, and again, this is great to internalize first. Dum, 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 dum. So once you get that in, you can hear my foot tapping. You know, you can feel the rhythm. That's gonna be so much easier to translate that to, to guitar once you have that basic uh, foundation in there. So again, we got. And then quite simply, we're just gonna go to third fret, to first fret. And those last two notes are held longer for any of the other notes. So we got one, two, one, two. So they're held for a full two beats each. Whereas the other ones are a little kind of snappier, a little quicker. So we got. So you see what I mean? You can hold those last two notes for a lot longer. So fifth fret, third finger. A couple more times. little change on the end is just one to the third fret back down okay so just a little additional note on the third fret there right at the end that's what I consider to be the most simple guitar song to play uh, we talked about Metallica we talked about Florence and the Machine um, we went on to a Chicago song a Green Day song okay all the time codes for the uh, the actual songs are gonna be below in the description and uh, in a comment below as well. So you can click around, make sure you get, you know, right where you need to get into this video. Um, but yeah, just remember some of those other things that we talked about too, which is like having an in-tune guitar, playing your notes close to the frets, how to hold the pick, right? With that little finger curl, getting that right hand planted on the guitar for the single note riffs. Okay, so we covered all that kind of stuff in this lesson today too. And I'll make sure that those time codes are in there. So there's a lot to cover in this lesson, but hopefully for you as a beginner, that this will at least get the wheels turning and so that you can start playing some cool recognizable songs and just get your fingers moving around um, without getting too frustrated right off right out the gate you know because i think that having a little bit of momentum is going to be really important for you so if i can help you along with your guitar journey that would be amazing and i would love to help you along with that um, as mentioned and as you saw that was a little uh there was a little clip from my five minute guitar video course which you can register for free and also there's an accompanying book. Uh, this is actually a totally free book and we'll ship this right to your door. Um, and we cover all kinds of those easy riffs, but it, it, you know, we wanna get you into chords and bar chords and, and theory and songs. And there's just kind of cool articles in here. So all you have to do is just pay for the shipping of this book and we'll get this right to your door. Um, and, and you'll get access to the entire video course, totally on the house, totally for free. No pressure, of course. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you want to get rolling with the guitar and you're digging my vibe here with Campfire Guitar Star, um, then definitely have a look into that. We'll make sure the description is available for you in the, uh, or sorry, the, the comments below and the description below. All that info will be there for you on how to get this $140 guitar pack. Um, you know, the book shipped to your house and instant access to the videos on the house totally and free. So if you think that me and the team here at Campfire Guitar Star can help you along with your process, and definitely look in the uh, description below for that link on how to register for the free course. Uh, right after you register for that, you'll get access to the book. Um, you just enter in your shipping details uh, and pay the $9.95 for shipping. We'll ship it right to your door within a couple weeks. So yeah, man, this guitar thing is tough right at the beginning stages, but definitely you can find some easy songs and an easy system and how to read tabs and all that kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff that's gonna help you um, play your favorite songs. I mean, a lot of people that wanna hop right into these crazy bar chords and chords and strumming and all this kind of stuff, or soloing and ripping, but man, I'm telling you that uh, playing easy, cool riffs like this um, will definitely help get those wheel tur wheels turning, getting your fingers kind of hitting the gym so you get control over these things and all that good stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this lesson. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe, get a hold of the book, get a hold of the free, uh, the free course, and until the next video, keep on ripping it up. Thanks for watching.